Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look inside a Honda S2000 engine and we're going to talk about VTEC. What does it mean when people say that they hit VTEC? It makes this fantastic sound at wide open throttle. So if I go around here and I, I hit VTEC. Well, it's pretty simple actually. If you take a look inside the engine, you'll notice that there are two different camshaft profiles. There's this larger one with more lift and more duration. And then there are these two outer smaller ones. And down here you have the rocker arm assembly. And what happens is, as this is going around under 6,000 RPM, the engine is using these outer camshaft profiles to push these valves down. But when you cross over 6,000 RPM and VTEC switches over to the larger cam, this rocker arm assembly becomes locked in place and it follows this larger cam. When that happens, you can hear the engine pick up noise and the car makes quite a bit more power. Here we go. And that's what people call hitting VTEC. So let's rotate this camshaft around and you can take a look at how it pushes down on the rocker arm assembly. Now what you notice here is that the center camshaft lobe is pushing down on the center section independently of these two outer sections. These two outer sections are currently riding on the smaller camshaft lobes. But at high RPM, when the VTEC solenoid activates, it will lock this whole assembly together and the valves will get opened even further because they'll be following this larger cam profile. So if you've never taken a look inside of one of Honda's old VTEC engines, it's actually pretty cool. And the reason that it's cool to me is because when I'm building an engine, I often have to compromise. I have to build the car for a specific purpose. A great example would be my C6 Z06. Versus my C5 Z06. The C6 Z06 makes an enormous amount of power on the top end but it suffers in its drivability. Now the C5Z06 has a stock camshaft in it, and so it does not make a ton of power, but it has great drivability. Now with the Honda S2000, it's like having two cars in one because I have a small camshaft and a larger camshaft in the same engine. And so when people say they are hitting VTEC, they are actually switching over to a higher lift, higher duration cam, and it's pretty cool. If you've never experienced it, I highly encourage you to go out and drive a Honda. And lots of people make fun of VTEC on the internet, but I hope that by showing you the inside of the engine, you can actually learn to appreciate it. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your car.